Hey guys and ladies, just real quick. Um, I know that this has been brought up a few times in the group about doing the trust icons in your site um, and whether or not you know you should install an app or, or just code it right into there. I'm under the belief that, I mean, as well as apps are and as good as they are, um, the more that you have, the slower your site runs, especially if they're pulling uh, stuff like graphics from somewhere that's not already in your site. So today I will show you real quick what I've done um, and how I've done it. So uh, you'll wanna log into your uh, Shopify dashboard and go to your online store. Uh, from there, you'll go in and edit the code. Actually, I'll take this back one step. Go into your online store and before you do anything, uh, come up to here and do a duplicate. Um, what that does is it duplicates the code for how it is now. Um, and then if you ever have to step it back, um, you can go back to the duplicate and it'll remove uh, some of your code. But nothing that we do today is really gonna be anything that is gonna break it. So anyway, we'll go into uh, the edit code section. And into here, you're gonna do a few things. Uh, first thing you're gonna go to is you're gonna go to assets. Um, and you're going to create a new asset. And inside of this asset, um, we'll go up to here, where is it? Uh, add a new asset. Um, basically what this is gonna do is this is gonna be your file that you're gonna use. So you're going to upload your um, graphic that you use for your trust icons. And mine is literally called, and you wanna do this um, see mine is actually called trust. So that's my icons that I use. Uh, I've named it trust.png and all I did was I just uploaded it into this assets area. Once that's uploaded and into there, uh, now you can make calls for it inside of your, um, code. So what we'll do is we'll actually go into, um, sections um bum, 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 bum. And I am so bad at this product template there we go um and inside of here uh in your template mine's a custom template so you would probably do it somewhere else but basically you want to go through here and you want to look where do you want it and if you look at your current site um and how it's laid out uh, I like putting it by my add to cart area um, and in my template, these are already built into the template. So I found this code. Um, what you can do is you can right click on the general area of where you want it to be. So let's say you want it to be right here. If you right click on this and you click on inspect, a uh, window is gonna pop up. And inside of here, you're gonna be able to see uh, what's being called out in the area that's being called out. Uh, for most of you, it's going to be under the product dash template dot liquid underneath the sections area, not underneath the templates, because most of us are using um, templates, even the free ones. Um, if you go under just the product uh, dot liquid, it actually says right here, it's just going to use product dash template. Um, so we'll go to product dash template dot liquid. Let me close this first. And um, you're going to find the add to cart area. So you can just hit control F um, and inside of here, just go cart and it's gonna find uh, the cart area. Um, and again, this is a custom template. So yours is gonna be a little bit different, but basically you wanna find the form, uh, the add to cart form. And what you will then do is um, you will paste this code into there and I'm gonna find where mine is. Um, icon, it's product icons. So, um, ba -bum, ba -bum, bum bum here it is. So in my area where I have those product icons that say free shipping and all that kind of stuff, I've added this line of code and I'll copy this out of here and I'll put it into a notepad for us all to see. And let me just go grab it. So that is 
the code that you are going to inject and basically I'll break it down for you um, what this is is uh, just a basic image HTML markup um, and you're getting the what you whatever you've named it so like you'll change yours if you've named it something else like again I've named mine trust dot PNG so remember again under here under assets I have something called trust.png, which is this. Um, so I have it labeled right here, trust.png. Um, and then you put a space, the pipe, and then asset URL. Uh, what that means is it's going to pull from the assets URL in your Shopify. Um, so this is assets. So it's taking it from asset URL. Um, and then I... Um, you could put in the alt text. So like if you hover over it, um, it would, if somebody hovers over that in there, in my store, um, it just says, you know, products, um, uh, products are, uh, uh, secure, whatever. Anyway, you can put whatever you want in this. You could put just secure payments. Um, I suggest you put something in there. Uh, it is just alternative text though. So honestly, probably nobody is going to see it, but it is something for, uh, calling out for stuff. But basically this is the only line of code that you need. Um, and then, like I said, on mine, I injected it into this icons, this product icons area, and I put it below that. Um, the way the Shopify themes usually work, um, are, they already are in, um, a div container. So that div container on mine, I have a two thirds and a one third div container to make a full, you know, 100% page width. So I put mine in the right hand div container that was down to one third. So it automatically sized itself down uh, to fit into this area. Cause you can see uh, when I go back over to here, I mean, this PNG is actually really, really big. Um, and you can get this anywhere. Um, I just searched uh, trust icons on, online somewhere. I don't, you know, there that's everywhere. Um, but basically I just took this, I brought it into Photoshop, um, or illustrator and, and just made it a PNG. Uh, so it resizes better. And that's basically it. If you have any other questions, you can post them in the group. I will try my best to, um, to help you. Um, I do suggest, and I'm, I'm not even, um, I'm not even going to list a, a affiliate link or anything, but I do suggest uh, rewind. Um, it does cost you something per month, but once you get your store up and running, um, maybe not something like this because you could easily just go back into there and remove it. Um, but uh, I do suggest something like this because it is a backup and it takes a nightly backup of my store, the whole store too. And you can back up just certain things or you can back up the whole store. Um, and you can restore just certain things or just restore the whole store as well too. So if you do blow up your text or your code, uh, somewhere, um, you'll be able to, uh, tweak that. Oh, and also last but not least, don't forget to save it. Uh, cause if you don't save it, when you come out of here, um, you know, you're going to edit the, um, you're going to edit this. So you're going to want to make sure you hit that save button. <clears throat> what I do is I, I edit the code. I hit save and then I go to my store I hit refresh on the store, make sure that it's going to where I want it to be, make sure that it shows up properly. And then, and then I, you know, hit, uh, then I close it, but I've already saved it, but I always leave this open, um, because it's going to already be at that line of text that you just edited. So if you did do something and it ends up blowing up your store, um, like if this all of a sudden became huge and took over the whole screen, you could easily, uh, take it out. So anyway, have a good day. Hopefully this helped.